Всем привет, дорогие друзья! Well, hello everybody and welcome! A one time we'll get a Russian introduction. You may think, why has he given a Russian introduction? But, well, let's be surprised, I won't tell you. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. And you're gonna be surprised. But since the introduction was in Russian, you can, well, expect already uh, what's gonna be the case. Well, now you see, we're gonna play the Millennium Dawn mod. Millennium Dawn mod. Uh, currently, I'm only playing one Let's Play of it, but we are going to start one more Let's Play. And guess is which country. Well, I mean, if you read the description of this uh, video, you will probably guess already. But nevertheless, let's, well, wait until the game completely finish loading and then let's get into it. There we go. And, um, alright, single player, new game. We saw it like already. We're gonna play in the 2000s. Starts. Uh, as the US, uh, as the UK, as France, Jacques Chiro, as Gerard Schroeder, as India, or as Putin. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna play as Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin! I haven't, I didn't play actually Russia, but this time we will uh, stay Putin. Uh, in the other game I've played, uh, staying as Putin had major disadvantages because you couldn't boost your ideology in other countries. But now we can. We can boost the reactionary ideology in other countries. Which is certainly a superb thing. So we are gonna play... I wanna play on historical air focuses. Uh, so let's see if the AI actually invades Iraq, etc. Historical AI focuses. Uh, we are gonna play regular. Yeah, regular. So let's see if everything says historical. Regular. Uh, Iron Man. Yeah, there's no need. Like, Iron Man save game. There's no need. But you're gonna play on regular and start. There's no need for Iron Man game. We're gonna play as Russia. And I'm only playing with this mod. So I'm not playing with the increased manpower mod. Because I'm sure we won't have manpower problems. And that mod is certainly making uh, countries overpowered. Uh, like, if I would simply conquer China, I would have so much manpower, but that shouldn't be the case. Alright, let's see, with what do we start? We play as the Russian Federation, as Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, President Rasi. Uh, he is a popular figurehead, and which gives us a national unity of plus 15%. We are reactionary, but that shouldn't be the problem. We have to select a national focus. Well, my idea for the start is, I will, of course, annex Chechnya. Chechnya. Uh, but to do that, I will save some political power, because I want to enact the war economy during the war. Because I can't do it otherwise. Because I have to be fascist, communist, or at war. So what we are going to do now is, we are going to get the... Uh, what, do I have a focus? We are going to get the economic, fo economic focus. And simply wait. And because Chechnya can't build themselves up in such a short time. Well, our military factor, our industrial capacity is really huge. Really huge. We have no problems with uh, slots, but the problem is we have problems with our power. We only have 30 military and 35 civilian factories. So I aim to get uh, these two done so quick as possible. Which will give us plus 6 civilian and plus 6 military factories. Which will be really helpful for our build of the army. That's three civilian factories. Mm, for now, I want to build simply lots of civilian ones. Lots of civilian ones. Well, I want to build them. Let's build. Uh, let's build. Yeah, in Moscow, many civilians. I want to concentrate the industry on the. In the Moscow, we're gonna build civilian. Then in let's build in Moscow. I want to take authentic places. Yeah. Let's also build it in Stalingrad, Volgograd, civilian for now. Let's build two here each. And one price in Kursk. These three cities are really important cities. Moskva, Volgograd, or uh, Stalingrad in the past, and Kursk. Kursk. Kursk was the turning point of the war. Well, Stalingrad was, but Kursk was even more important as a turning point. So we are gonna build it in these sectors. Alright. So then that's about that. That's about our military. Uh, well, I aim to completely replace the mechanized units with uh, motorized units because mechanized uh, units to build mechanized units is really expensive, and 
the motorized even aren't that bad. If you see, uh, we have a lower defense, lower breakthrough, but they are really easier to uh, construct. They are really cheaper, therefore it's worth it. But to be able to do that, we need to get first the army experience tons off. So, firstly, let's advance our industry here, modern construction tools. Let's get a Langdor Doctrine. I, mm, I'm thinking, should I go for the mobile warfare doctrine, superior firepower? I mean, here we will get, we can get like 5% more. I don't think that's... I have no problems. I'm gonna go the Blitzkrieg, yeah, Blitzkrieg path. Mobile, uh, perhaps, yeah, I'm gonna go mobile infantry, actually. Tanks as well, but tanks won't have a major role. So mobile warfare, we'll have a huge manpower pool of 142 million core population already, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. At artillery, let's uh, here get... The protective networks, which will give us a plus two in decryption and encryption. And besides that, let's uh, turn the AM. Uh, we can't afford really building any uh, uh, points. Well, we can, but not really that much. Well, let's get here. Let's improve our infantry. I guess fine here. The red dots. Let's get that. Okay, three military factories. Let's get. It's post called for. It's outdated. Let's get the AK 24 M. As well as sport equipment and um, well, we need anti-artillery and motorized. Motorized. Okay, there you go. We need rubber. Let's get rubber from well, Thailand, I guess. Thailand. We have three dockyards. Well, we have a non-existent navy. We have to build up our navy from scratch. So I'm gonna build uh, as if our first ship. Actually, let's build, yeah, a carrier. Why not a carrier? Let's build a carrier here first. Or we can. Uh, a carrier should have. Um, well, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's see. Auto build it in Saint Petersburg. <laughs> All right. Then our army is uh, 438,000 strong. Uh, we have a really strong air force. We have 166,000 uh, manpower in the air force. Uh, we have 1,840 planes. We have the strongest air force, actually, I think one of the strongest air forces in the world. We are stronger than the European one. Yeah, we are second after the American air force, which is, I think, even correct. Our fathers are quite out of date, but that shouldn't be a problem. I first want to send all of my planes into one province, into, not Ivanovo, to Moskva, Moskva, or go to Moskva, I will do a reorganization of our air force. Yeah, send them all away to Moskva, and then we'll reorganize them. Alright, send you to Moskva as well. We can unpause, let's unpause the game and continue. Our first steps into the game. You get these fighters as well into Moskva, you from Armenia as well to Moscow. There we go. Like I said, I don't aim to restore the Soviet Union. Because, well, in this mod I haven't done it, but we'll stay uh, loyal to Putin. We'll do what Putin says, therefore I really don't aim to restore the Soviet Union. And we have to be really careful with world tension, because if we raise it too high, Land countries will be able to enact uh, better econ economic laws. Plus, what's that? Al Qaeda summit. I don't mind. Uh, major nationalist rally. Well, I don't want the LDPR. LDPR well means how it stands here: Liberal Democratic Party of Russia. Uh, or on Russian it's uh, Liberal Democratiska Partia Rossiya. Or Liberal Democratiska Partia Rossiska Federatsi. You can say the second one as well. But we'll play as the party United Russia. Yedinaya Rossiya. Yedinaya Rossiya. Under the rule of that handsome guy, Vladimir Putin. Throughout our whole campaign, we are gonna stay loyal to Putin. Perhaps I should soon get some nuclear, nuclear reactors as well. As our army here, let's see. Katov! Let's see, let's uh, combine them first. Vnimanya, attention! Yeah. You, well, you can simply improve your Russian skills by playing this game. Taktochta, of course. Taktochta, yeah. So we'll show you, listening. I guess. Smirna! 
All right, I should stop here. Let's uh, train our units, which aren't fully trained yet. So let's go ahead and train them. Like Dojna, of course. Tatuov. All right, here. Let's select them all. And the untrained ones will be trained. Let's train them. Uh, let's check our general stuff. Uh, oh yeah, we have a low manpower. That's certainly not good. Hm. Well, let's see. Our best commander is General Sergei Shaigu. Sergei Shaigu. Uh, do you lots and lots know where Sergei Shaigu is actually from? Sergei Shaigu is from Tanutuva. Yeah, he is from Tanutuva. He is really from Tanutuva. From this province he is from. Tanutuva. Yeah. Uh, Tanutuva, if you play the best cap, you know what I'm talking about. No, we can't release them, but they are were a independent nation which couldn't, which just couldn't do anything. That was Tanutuva for you. Our planes, let's combine our fighter wings just to get in a rough overview of our fighter, of our current air force. Why can't I combine them? Uh, because they are more than 1000. Okay, now we can combine them. Okay, we have actually nearly 1,000 points. That's nice. Let's create wings of... Yeah, here. Let's combine them. I want to create wings of 200 each. Yeah. Well, uh, how should I do it now? What? I simply remove all air wings here. Yeah, and yeah, now we have no uh, planes anymore. Just a joke. We still have them, but in the reserve. Let's create wings of 200 plants each, because they are really strong. 200 plants each should work out. 200 fighters as well. We have also attack planes. Let's create 200 of them. We have bombers as well. 180 bomber wing. 200, and the rest can stay in the reserve. I'd say, yeah. Generation 3 attack. Okay, there we go. Current Air Force. Smyrna. Okay, we have our army here. Uh, one division though is in Kaliningrad. Let's spread them out from the rest of our divisions. Uh, we have to ready our troops against uh, Chechnya. We shall do that. Uh, look, Russia, uh, Russians are not Danish flags. Oh, it will never change. It will never change. Yeah, well, it's probably not. I've got tank brigade. Do I have tanks in storage? No, I certainly don't. Ah, oh, shame. Okay, let's just get uh, got district. Well, you have, I have to look out for like good units and the not so good ones. Guards, motor, uh, reserve brigades. I just mind. I just don't mind. I'll just get these all 43 against Chechnya. Rave himself up. Well, I'm the, I even don't need that many. Let's simply overkill. Let's say I'll get 24. 24 against Chechnya. 23. One more. There we go. Economic focus. Great. Is done. The war will start soon. Not yet, but soon. And now we are gonna do the industrial project because I wanna save up political power. If I have 150, I'm gonna do the Grozny offensive. Actually, I need 300. I need 300. Uh, I need 450. Well, it will surely go down when we are at war. It can't be so expensive. No way. That it's that expensive. That would be simply overkill. We we have too many troops here, so let's send these 19 away. Perhaps to I guess let's just send them away. Like to Rostov on Don. Rostov on Don. Sergei Shaigu is doing well in training them. The units. Yeah, just train them, Sergei Shaigu. Let's keep him training, keep him training. That, that's a artillery reserve base. Well, we are gonna use the reserve bases as a mobile force as well. I'm sorry, but yeah. Sergei Shegu will lead the charge towards Chechnya. Uh, let's. Stoprikaza. Mm, what is the order? Stoprikaza, what is the order? 24 divisions, the first. Yeah. Engine name to. Bear by army, first army. Uh, it just feels good to play as Russia again, as Mother Russia, 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 Svishena, ya nasha derjava. Okay, yeah. Um. Well, let's uh, send two on fires in the Astrakhan. 
and uh, at Saint Claudia Sport as well as yeah, into uh, Stravopol, Strav, Stravropol, 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 Stravropol. Yeah, it's called probably Stravropol. Grozny, we are gonna take Chechnya. We have even Chechnya as a core state. Do we have any other core states? No, we lost it. Hmm, well, that's it. I think here, yeah, Greater Russia, Ukrainian crosshairs, the Crimean question, Estonian Russians, Navarasia. Well, we are going to get rid of uh, Ukraine. I mean, yeah. After we take Chechnya, we're gonna get rid of Ukraine. Uh, if we would declare war right now, it uh, wouldn't be a problem. So I will actually go ahead and declare war against the Ukrainians. I'm sorry, but uh, simply taking care of them so quick as possible is the best thing we can do. Uh, after we take care of them, we can build up our industry. But for now, I'm sorry, um, Leonid Kuchma, but we have to uh, justify against your beloved country. I'm really sorry, but things aren't always that nice. And then we'll bother Transnistria. Look to that guy. Like, that hat is really huge. And this eyebrow, I truly... Uh, that's a weird one. He has weird eyebrows. Moldova, Transnistria. They're both doing the... Uh, <laughs> okay, 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 let's get back to the game. Uh, we aren't getting that much of a political power. So the best thing... Maybe just to, well, wait. And not do any focuses, because focuses, yeah. We need to save 300 political power, only them can advance. But at least we are getting 6 uh, civilian factories now. Really important to advance our industrial sector as well. Plus, I will start boosting the popularity of the reactionaries in the US. Yeah. Start boosting the popularity of the reactionaries uh, of the Constitution Party in the US. Let's do that. And now we're getting even less, but that's yeah, normal. Some point of view. Alright, tanks, no need, let's do, let's get more than sport weapons. Now we're just gonna wait and let our uh, political power stockpile up. Yeah. Oh, Israeli forces retreat from southern Lebanon. No, well. Goodbye, Israel. Well, I tell once more, my aim is not to restore the Soviet Union, that's not my aim. Sergei Shegu, Sergei Shegu. Uh, show active. I wanna show the active fellow. Well, then we have to unassign him. Unassign. Sergei Shegu, take the command. Uh, the divisions here are suffering truly in Chechnya. I wanna send them there to this sector. Well, they are just replacing themselves. No, it's fine. Now it's 8 of 8. They aren't really that suffering, I'd say. Let's send the guard base into the area. I cannot should be fine. Yeah, the Syria insults Israel over Golan deal. Okay, I guess you all know the insult of uh, Syria towards the towards Israel about the, uh, about the Golan deal. I'm sure you all know it. So yeah, we are gonna save pol uh, political power. Because I want to enact the war economy, but does it really cost 450? I didn't thought it's actually that expensive. If we go to war, it shouldn't stay uh, that high, I think. I think 300 political power should be enough. Should be just enough. Let's check Chechnya. What are the Chechnyans doing? They are doing combat preparations. Well, to be honest, we should rather do the civilian uh, build-up. So we can take our factories, but they aren't. Such a shame. They are doing combat preparations, which will not help the bloody Islamists. So let's see what they'll do as a second focus. They are doing uh, no focus sets. Political one. Well, that won't help you. We are gonna... Oh. We add the get decryption and... Let's get... What should we get? Uh, artillery ahead of time. Let's get... Here. Ceramic body armor, always important. Always don't forget to equip your soldiers with ceramic body armor. Waiting for others, waiting for others, that's fine. Let you wait for others. How's my uh, first career progressing? It's finished soon, then my first career is finished. I wanna build one carrier, after that I'm gonna build uh, three missile cruisers. Actually, is it out of date? 
Oh, well, the Kursk submarine disaster. The Kursk submarine disaster was a naval incident 75 kilometers of north, north of the Kola Peninsula, Russia. The Russian Oscar class submarine K141 Kursk suffered a faulty weld on a 6576 practice torpedo, which caused a peroxide explosion and the subsequent detonation of at least five torpedo warheads. The Russian Naval Command greatly underestimated the situation and declined international help on the basis of crude allegations that NATO that the NATO might be involved with the sinking. Although many of the crew members survived, the initial explosions, which were even registered by seismographs by in the US state Alaska, were trapped under the sea. The slow and ineffective Russian response ultimately led to the death of all 118 sailors. Horrible. Horrible. Well, the fun thing is, we even don't have a navy except our uh, first ship, which is the Moskva class carrier. Our carrier is. Uh, or, wait, is it? It's from the year. Damn it, when? From the year 1980. Well, I guess that's fine, since the next carrier is still four years ahead. So, we should build the missile cruiser. Let's build five. Yeah, get it. Five missile cruisers is our flagship. Flagship, five military missile cruisers, five. One, two, three, four, five. Are gonna be built in Saint Petersburg. Can they travel all the way? I think they even can travel. Can they travel from down below here? Oh, they could travel to Vladivostok. That's great. So the admiral will be Admiral Vladimir Karolev. A great tragedy. The Kursk submarine disaster. Truly. Yeah, come on. I'm just saving political power because you know my plan. And we're gonna take care of Chechnya for once and for all. Damn, probably I lost most of these units because of the goddamn attrition. Uh, yeah, I lost so many. Uh, I, almost, I lost so much equipment because of the attrition. God damn it. But now I should just have none. Yeah, I have a minus, which is just due to the attrition of the uh, of my units here. Yeah, I lost six per day while we were in attrition. That's certainly a bad thing. Groznyan, uh, the army of Groznya, Chechnya, just uh, you know, not just to fire. We are gonna make the focus soon. We are gaining too uh, slow political power though. It's ahead of time. And then let's go for the. That's on. It was ahead of time. The Olympic Games of 2000. The games are concluded. I really don't mind. I guess you would matter if I would read it out or not. Uh, let's go for the modern CIM software, which will boost our eco economy considerably. That's always nice. Decryption algorithm we got. Uh, let's get a fleet in being. Yeah, we want to have a uh, strong fleet focused on battleships. Yeah. And now we can do the Grozny Offensive under Ray. The Grozny offensive will start soon. Our 19 divisions are ready against... Uh, I mean, we just have to enter Grozny. They, the AI even doesn't defend Grozny, so the war should be over without any casualties, if you ask me. But I need really some army experience. I have none. The US is called bombing. Well, we will send our condolences to the Americans. I'll bet we shall do. Against Ukraine? Yeah, always Ukraine first. It's done soon in the 16th of December. Perhaps we should even ready up our army, shall we? So I'm gonna create a. Um, Sergei Shegu is gonna attack through the Crimea, although they are guarding it quite well. Let's check the Ukrainian army. Mm. 20 to 38 divisions strong. Well, they have a nice industry which will help us to advance. Too sad we don't have Ukraine as a core territory anymore. I'm gonna send these five units against the Krim Peninsula. Uh, these lots are going to be sent across the whole Ukrainian frontier. With the direct attack to capture Kiev. Yeah. It's a pretty easy battle plan. Oh, um, I don't like that to be honest, but so let's modify it. Uh, George W. Bush got the new commander-in-chief. The new commander-in-chief of the United States of America. Surprising. Not since we are playing on historical focuses. So that should be a better orgo for our 41 divisions. We'll get Field Marshal Igor Sergeyev. 
Yeah, fine. Let's take his. Uh, well, well okay, let's take Igor Sergeyev. Oh, he's off guard. He'll take him. Well, he'll gain. I mean, we don't need entrenchment. You know what? No, I'm not gonna take him. I'm gonna promote Anatoly Antonov. So now, uh, Anatoly Antonov is the field marshal. The Vtraya Armia, the second army of the Russian Federation. Major Columbus rally, the world has been run by capitalists for too long. Revolution, revolution won't happen. You will ensure that it won't happen. Ensure. Naval, let's get delay. Delay. Doctrine. Soon the Grozny Offensive will start. I think the episode will be named after that, perhaps. Yeah, too bad the Chechnyans haven't built up their industry, so we could have taken it, but now they're going for combat preparations, which will not help them at all. Sorry, but Chechnya is a Islamic state, and we cannot allow Islamic forces to uh, even exist. Okay, one more day, and then we're gonna declare war. So, the Chechen war started in mid-1999, and cooled down over the winter. Now, we need to finish off these pesky rebels on the Caucasus. Striking directly at the capital Grozny should be all it takes to force them to surrender, which is actually correct. Idina Rasiya, you have to be careful so the communists won't overtake us. There we go, at the 4th of December 2000 we have declared war against Grozny. Russia goes to war. We need 450, uh, we need 100 more. Well, I'm not going to capture Grozny, I'm not going to capture them, because I need I need 100 more political power. They can do their best of attacking. I'm just gonna wait, because I want to enact war economics, so I have it for all time. Look, now we have a minus 70% construction speed, that's insanely high. Um, our arm is just sitting there and chilling their life. Yeah. Just sitting there and chilling their life. Okay, justification against Crimea is finished as well. But the war, uh, well, we could start right now, but we aren't. We aren't yet. Let's get uh, strategic destruction in every game, some why I'm going for strategic destruction. It's available until the 14th of February 2001. That's acceptable. It's acceptable, 14th of February 2001. Well, the government reform won't help uh, Ukraine, I'm sorry, but it won't help you. No, uh, it won't. Chechnyans in Borussia officially. They are doing still the government reform. No, at least we are gonna get one more military and two more civilian factories. Okay, 40 more points and then I'm going to enact the war economy, which will lead to us just spamming factories everywhere across the country. I aim to build 150 at least civilians and then I will start de developing my military sector. So we have a well, quite a uh, ambitious goal ahead of us. Let's get a T90 AM tank, fine. The year 2000s. Political power, we are getting slowly but safely. After that, I will go with the military industrial program and then Russia first. Rasiya. Berbim. Alright, three more points and now we are gonna enact war economy. There we go. Now we have three factories, of course. I mean, we are the only country which has war economy. I'm gonna maximize out Moscow completely, Volgograd and Kursk. And with the rest, I'm gonna build one nuclear reactor. Let's say, where should we build it? Let's build a nuclear reactor in somewhere in the Urals. Let's build it here in in the cult area of Surgut. Surgut, yeah. Surgut. Okay. Now I'm sorry, but I'll be just march into Grozny. And then they will fall, so I don't even have to fight. I'm gonna tell you. I even shouldn't have to fight. And we captured Grozny even without any uh, enemies resisting us. And the Treaty of Grozny. I'm of course going to capture I mean, why should I puppet them? You know what? Let's just, you know, why should I puppet them? That's, I would rather shoot myself. Probably Putin as well. Capture Chechnya is our cost as well. And welcome back, Chechnya. There we go. Slow show you. Slow show you. 
Okay, I can't uh, attempt a cross above the straights, across the straights, that's sad. Got tough. Let's uh, he maximize out Sergei Shaigu's division. Uh, I'll tell Sergei Shaigu to strike directly towards the heart of uh, Ukraine, towards Kiev from this sector. And then to advance down below here, to the, in to the main sectors. That's nice. A good plan. A good plan. So, the uh, Ukrainian war we will do in the next episode, probably. For now, we captured Grozny, plus we enacted the war economy. Uh, let's go and do the military industrial program. So, we have 52 civilian, 12 naval, and 40 military factories. Our navy consists, yeah, of just uh, one mm, carrier. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, we can send 55 planes to the carrier, which we will do. Let's send mm, Generation 4 multi roll fighters to the carrier. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna send here uh, 25. That's 27, and then the 32 generation 3 attack fighters, there we go, oh that's too much, then let's reduce the size by 4, there we go. So our carriers are being manned with airplanes, that's great. Our navy will grow, I can assure you that. Well then, well, I will take a cut here, so uh, please go sure to check out my Patreon as well, my brand new Patreon page. The link will be included down below in the description, just go sure to check it out. I'll be glad about it. And thank you a lot for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a good time to you all and see you next time. Das Vidania.